From Hollywood, in color, here come the newlyweds. Yes, it's the newlywed game. Now let's meet our newlywed couple for today. Couple number one, her father listened to a football game on a transistor radio right up to the start of their wedding. Married just seven weeks, Bob and Nancy Cross. Couple number two, the first steak she cooked for her husband was turned down by him and their dog. Married just five months, Bob and Carol Mott. Couple number three, these newlyweds first met at Beautician's College, where she was his teacher. Married just 19 weeks ago, Ralph and Jane Sabatella. Couple number four, they were engaged for three of the six years they dated. Married now just 15 weeks, Dave and Eileen Casper. Those are our newlyweds for today. Here's your host, the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubank. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much and welcome to the Newlywed Game. We're here today to find out just how much our newly married couples have learned about each other. And we'll do that when we return to question our husbands right after this message. Today's housewife has very cleverly filled the waste space under her kitchen cabinets with Rubbermaid space makers. She's particularly proud of her newest ones, a canister set for dry foods, like sugar and coffee. And the space maker cabinet, a place to keep cereal and things like that. She's added them to her other space makers, the towel and wrap dispenser, bread drawer, and space maker drawer. They slide out smoothly, then tilt down so she can reach in. And space makers go up with just one or two simple fasteners. With Rubbermaid Space Makers, she keeps everything just where it ought to be. So turn your waste space into a storage place with Space Makers by Rubbermaid. All right, gentlemen, here we go with the newlywed game. As you know, your wives have been secluded off stage and cannot hear your answers. I'm going to ask you some questions and want each of you to answer them as you predict your wife will. Now, if your prediction matches your wife's answer, you'll be awarded five points. And the one couple with the most points will win an exciting grand prize selected especially for them. So remember, gentlemen, answer these questions as you predict your wife will. Okay, here we go with question number one. Gentlemen, which of the two of you will your wife say is more likely to embarrass the other today? Dave? I would say that my, I would, I would be the one to embarrass her more. You're going to embarrass mm -hmm. her then, is that, or more right. likely to embarrass her. Right. Fine, Ralph? Uh, I think that I would, yeah, I think I would embarrass her more today. All right, fine, you would, Bob? Uh, I'd say I would. My wife has a pillow and a blanket all ready for me if I embarrass her on the couch. She's all set. It's all set. And Bob Cross. Oh, my wife will. She's more brave than I will. Than I am. She's liable to embarrass you then, right? Yes. Next question, gentlemen. Where exactly will your wife say she was the last time you were pestering her? Ralph? The last time I was pestering my wife, where do I think she was? Where was she? Well, let's see. The last time I was pestering my wife, she was probably in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Fine. I... Bob? <coughs> she was, uh, it was today. She was in the bathtub. <laughs> she was in the bathtub. The door was locked and I was trying to get in. I was going to ask her some questions. And she was in the bathroom and she wouldn't let me in. Bob Cross? In the bedroom. In the bedroom. <laughs> Dave? I would say in the bedroom. In the bedroom. Right. The last of our five-point questions. Gentlemen, will your wife say you definitely think she should spend less time eating, shopping, or nagging? Less time what, Bob? Oh, nagging, definitely. Less time nagging. Bob Cross? It's eating. Eating. Less time eating. Dave? Less time nagging. Less time She's nagging. always nagging. Ralph? I'm going to have to go along with the majority. It was nagging. Every minute, she's <laughs> nagging everything I do. nagging. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, thank you very much for your answers. We'll be right back to reunite the newlyweds, and we'll see how well the husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after this brief message. When Brock's The Candy People pour double-whipped, creamy, smooth nougat into delicious golden caramel, Brock's Royals are born. Mmm, those fresh, chewy Brock's Royals. I love them. Everyone does. They're rich in energy. Come in six fun flavors. 
And pretty enough to serve for company, don't forget. Right. Wholesome Brock's Royals are just one reason why your best candy buy is Brock's. That's true. Ever wish a door wouldn't open? I used to, when I had to go in and clean the bathroom bowl. But now it's easy. It's Santa Flush. Every can of Santa Flush has more active bowl cleaning ingredient than the other leading brand. Gets rid of stains, deodorizes, kills germs, too. Santa Flush, with more active bowl cleaning ingredient than the other leading brand. The job's so fast and easy with Santa Flush. It cleans like crazy. Santa Flush, powder or liquid. Gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards, and I'll have them in your laps. Every time your prediction matches your wife's answer, you'll be awarded five points. The one couple with the most points at the end of the show will then win a grand prize selected especially for them. Here's question number one, girls. These are five pointers. Which of the two of you is more likely to embarrass the other today? Nancy? It would have to be me. You? I'm very forward. You're forward, yeah. right? Bob <laughs> predicted it would have to be Bob Top Card only, so I can see it. The wife is right. Yes! You get five points. <laughs> Carol? It would have to be Bob. I think Bob is more likely. Bob predicted you would say it would be him, right? And you get five. <laughs> You think, Jane? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to say me. I'm the one that usually embarrasses him. You. All right. Ralph predicted that uh, top card only. It would be him. <laughs> no points. Eileen? It's David. He always embarrasses me. <laughs> he always embarrasses me. That's you. my good. David, top card, so I can see it. The husband is right for five points. Next question, girls, for five points. Where exactly were you the last time your husband was pestering you? Where exactly were you, Carol? Well, I was getting ready to come here. I'd just come home from work, and he, was, he wanted to hurry up and leave because we didn't know where exactly you were. But he kept pestering me when so I was trying to get ready. Where were you then? Well, in the bathroom. In the bathroom. Bob said that you were uh, in the bathtub. <laughs> All right. In the bathtub? That's right. You wouldn't let me in. <laughs> Jane? Mm, he pesters me all the time. <laughs> really. I think it was... Yeah, it was in the bathroom. In the bathroom. Definitely. Ralph said it was in, uh, it blew in it the again. kitchen. <laughs> but that's the okay, kitchen? I mean. Yeah, I'm always in the kitchen mm. trying to show you what to do. And you're getting mad at me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eileen? I would say the kitchen, making lunch. In the kitchen, okay. Dave predicted you would say it was in the bedroom. Bedroom. I should have thought of the kitchen, too. I'm always showing her how to cook, too. <laughs> Nancy? I'd say in my mother's den yesterday. In your mother's den yesterday. Mm -hmm. Bob said it was... Uh, Bob, you want to hold the card up? In the bedroom, he said. Something different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's the last of our five-point questions. Girls, does your husband definitely think you should spend less time shopping, eating, or nagging? Jane? <laughs> nagging. Nagging. Ralph said... I knew you quit. You never missed nagging. that one. Nagging. <laughs> never missed that one. <laughs> no way you would have missed that one. Eileen? I'm going to have to say nagging, too. Nagging also. That's Good thing. He said nagging. You got five more points. <laughs> you knew it. Nancy? I'd say shopping. Shopping. Bob said you should spend less time eating. <laughs> Just started the diet. <laughs> Carol? I would say eating. Eating? Bob predicted you would oh, say less no. time nagging. nagging. No point there. Last night, 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Couples, thank you very much for your answers. Next, we'll have some 10-point questions, and we'll be right back with Just the Wives to see how well they predict what their husbands will say on the newlywed game in just a moment. But first, let's follow David and Eileen Kastberg on their wedding day. And I'll say it again, without bacon, we're nothing. 
We're all nothing. Yeah, who says so? Then why do they always order bacon and eggs instead of eggs and bacon, huh? 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 And why are they so picky about getting the number one bacon? Now, why do people buy more Swift's premium than any other brand, huh? Mm? <laughs> Swift didn't get to be the leader by accident, you know. It's that sweet smoke taste. Folks can taste the difference, you know. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Now, 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 take a look at yourself. Alone, you are just another egg. But add Swift's premium bacon, and that's what puts the sunny in sunny side up. You know, I never looked at it that way. <laughs> Give the eggs a break with Swift's premium bacon, the lean, mild bacon with a sweet smoke taste. Swift makes everything better, including appetites. <laughs> For getting stains out of kitchen sinks, nothing beats Ajax Blue Cleanser. And Ajax Blue does more. It keeps on going to whiten and whiten, and whiten some more. No cleanser gets going like Ajax Blue to give you what you really want, a real white sink. White out kitchen sink. White out kitchen sink. For a white sink, think blue. Ajax Blue Cleanser. Now a brief intermission with Johnny Jacobs and gifts for today's couple. Thank you, Bob. And for the wives, it's a Fashion 220 Glamour case filled with individual moisturizing Fashion 220 cosmetics, including cleansing cream, liquid makeup, magic stick, rouge, eyeshadow, powder, mascara, pencil, and lipstick. Today's husbands will receive a Samsonite two-suitor in Oxford Gray with hidden locks, strong light magnesium frames, and a scuff-resistant finish. Handsome silhouette luggage from the Samsonite Corporation. For the second-place winning couple, it's Norataki Progression China. Can be used from freezer to oven to table. Dishwasher safe and so durable, it's guaranteed two years against breakage under normal household use. Now let's return to Bob Eubanks in today's lovable newlywed. Thank you, Johnny, very much. Don't forget for more fun and games right after the newlywed game, watch The Baby Game. It's brand new and it's in color here on ABC. The Baby Game. All right, girls, your husbands have been secluded off stage and cannot hear your answers. Now it's your turn to predict what they will say. Now each question will be worth 10 points except for your last question. That's our bonus question, which will be worth 25 points. And remember, girls, you'll be answering these questions as you predict your husbands will when they return. Question number one. Girls, what will your husband say his mirror would say to him if it could speak? Eileen? You're getting fat. You're getting fat. Mm -hmm. Jane? Um, my hair's out of place. Now, the mirror would talk to him. Oh, your hair's out of place. Your hair's out of place. Carol? I would have to say you're also getting fat. You're getting fat. Okay. Nancy? You're getting fat. You're getting fat. <laughs> Next question, girls. Will your husband say you follow him around more or he follows you around more? Jane? Oh, I'm always following him around. I nag at him all the time. Oh, He's I remember. always wrong. You follow him around more. Mm -hmm. Carol? I also follow him around more. You follow him around more. Nancy? I do. You follow more. Eileen? I'm going to have to follow the others. I do, too. You follow mm -hmm. him around more. Girls, what will your husband say is the strangest thing you've seen him doing lately around your house or apartment? Carol? Oh, gosh. Strangest thing you've seen him doing lately around your house or apartment? Well... Oh, Think of something quickly now. I guess when he's getting ready to go out, he's uh, kind of unorganized the way he does everything. When he gets ready to go out, he's very unorganized. That's the strangest thing. Nancy? Um. Oh, jeez. Think of the strangest thing. Don't let that bell ring now. I guess the way he's been acting, because he has to be going pretty soon. Just the way he's been acting lately. He's got a... The strangest thing you've seen him doing around the well, house lately is... Uh-huh, the way he's been acting lately. No, specifically, though. I need a little more specific um, answer than that. 
Well, I don't know. Can you give me a specific answer? Well, the way he talks. It's the way he talks. All right. Eileen? The way he's fixing things. He gets out his little box and all his little tools. And... Well, he's been fixing things around the house. Jane? I have to stick with my husband's uh, combing his hair because he's losing it. And he primps all the time. Combing his hair a lot? Mm-hmm. Girls, here's the last of our 10-point questions. How will your husband complete this sentence? I wish my wife would stop fiddling around with... what? Nancy? Him? Me, meaning him, right? <laughs> Eileen? I would have to say the house. I'm always straightening it. I'm always, always fiddling. Stop fiddling around with the house. Right. Jane? <laughs> I guess it'll have to be my husband because I mess his hair up all the time. Now, Doesn't what is your answer then? Stop him. fiddling around with him. Carol? I also would have to say stop fiddling around with him. Him. Here's our 25-point bonus question, girls. Which will your husband say he likes more, hot dogs or hamburgers? Eileen? Hey, hamburgers. Hamburgers. Definitely. Jane? Hamburgers. Hamburger. Carol? Oh, of course, hamburgers. Hamburger and Nancy. Hamburgers. Hamburgers. All right, ladies, thank you very much for your answers. We'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on the newlywed game in just a moment. But first, a look at Ralph and Jane enjoying their wedding reception. put up a grape jam or jelly. She went through the market like a hawk. Picked the most juicy looking, fragrant smelling conquered grapes, inspected every single one, and put them into her special copper kettle. The flame was just right. The steam started to escape, and you could smell that flavor all over the house. Then she filled the jars by hand and sealed the flavor in. Welch's goes through pretty much the same thing. Except we grow our own special vintage Concord grapes. Use a bigger kettle, and we don't let any of the steam escape. We found out that in that steam was a lot of extra flavor. Welch's couldn't match the love Mother put into her jellies and jams, so we settled for a little extra flavor. Now, gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. Remember, these questions will now be worth ten big points. Here's question one. Gentlemen, what would your mirror say to you if it could speak? Bob Cross? What would it say to you? What are you always looking at me so much for? Why do you look at me so much? Nancy predicted it would say, uh, you're getting fat. <laughs> Bob? I'd say, uh, hi, good-looking, but my wife's going to say, you're getting fat. I know she is. So your answer is? Hi, good-looking. Your answer is, hi, good-looking. Right. Carol predicted you say, you're getting fat. <laughs> Ralph? Well, I think I'd probably say, what are you looking at me so much for? What do you think you're doing, just sitting there always looking at yourself? You've got a talkative mirror, haven't you? <laughs> I think that's what it would say. No, what are you looking at me so much for? What do you think you're doing always there looking at me yeah, so much? That's what it would say. Yes. Jane predicted it would say, uh, your hair's out of place. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I'm looking in a mirror, that's what it... Okay. Dave? Well, I would say, oh, you handsome thing, but she's going to say, you're getting fat. You're getting fat? Is that your answer? You're getting fat. Okay. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen, do you follow your wife around more or does she follow you around more? Bob? She follows me around more. She follows you around Definitely. more? She follows you around more is right. <laughs> Ralph? I have to say definitely. I follow her around you more. You follow her around. Jane right. said that... Uh, 
<laughs> well, I followed you around. Well, I do. <laughs> I'll never follow you around again. <laughs> well, I, I thought I did. <laughs> Dave? I would say I follow her around. You follow her around? No, she follows you around, is what she said. <laughs> Bob Cross? Uh, she follows me around more. She follows you around. She does follow you around, is right. You get ten points. <laughs> Next question for ten points, gentlemen. What is the strangest thing your wife has seen you doing lately around your house or apartment? Ralph, strangest thing. The strangest thing. I'll have to say it's strange all the time. You just sitting in front of the mirror comb my hair. Sitting in front of the mirror combing your hair is the strangest thing. That's all Jane I can think of. You would say the strangest thing is the way he combs his hair a lot. Judges <laughs> a decision. They'll say okay. We get two. <laughs> two. Dave? Me working around the house for a change. You've been working around the house. The way he's fixing things is what she said. Again, Judge, could I get a decision here? They say okay. That is oh, beautiful, beautiful. That's my baby. Bob, well, what's the strangest thing Nancy's seen you doing around the house lately? Well, today I was up on the roof and drinking a beer. That's about as strange I think. Having a drink on the house, were you? <laughs> <laughs> Nancy said the strangest thing is the way you talk. I couldn't think of nothing. I couldn't think of nothing. <laughs> Bob? Uh, my wife bought me a brand new pair of golf shoes, and she thinks it's strange because I uh, take out the spikes, wash them, and shine them so that people can see when I step that they're shiny spikes. <laughs> Washing the spikes in your golf shoe. Right. Carol said the strangest thing is, uh, well, it's when you get ready to go out. You're so unorganized and everything. Oh, you're kidding. I forgot about your golf shoes. You complained about for two weeks. I know, but I forgot. Here's the last of our ten-point questions. Gentlemen, complete this sentence. I wish my wife would stop fiddling around with... What, Dave? With everything. She's always picking up things. I need a more specific oh. answer than that. Fiddling around with... Uh, housework? Housework. Mm -hmm. Eileen predicted you would say the house. Okay, right. Oh. You get ten points. Beautiful, baby. <laughs> Beautiful. Bob? Wish my wife would stop fiddling around with... With her hair. She's always doing something to her hair. With her hair. Nancy said, stop fiddling you. around with you. <laughs> you. Bob? Uh, I agree with Bob. Their hair. Their hair. Oh. Carol agreed with uh, Nancy. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ralph? Wish my wife would stop fiddling around with... She's as bad as I am when it comes to the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't... Well, anyway, it'd probably be her... her... her hair also. Her hair. Jane Make predicted you would say, stop fiddling around with... Her uh, hair. Uh, you. <laughs> with me. Oh, okay. You are... <laughs> out. Can you take karate every time you raise it? <laughs> Couples, thank you very much for your answers. We'll be back with our 25-point bonus question to see which couple will win their grand prize following this brief message. Away! What's going on here? <laughs> New soft spread Imperial. It's really delicious. Has corn oil, too. And look how easy it spreads. But anybody can make margarine soft. New soft spread Imperial makes it delicious. So delicious, it's fit for a king. Try Imperial, soft spread or regular. Gee, you smell great. Care to dance? I'd love to. Sorry, dear. Everyone smells nice these days, but just smelling good is not good enough anymore because there's a deodorant bar that does more for you. It's called Phase 3, and it's the only deodorant bar you can get with cream in it to make your skin feel softer and look softer, too. Now, what would you rather do, sit there and smell nice or dance? All right, gentlemen, here's your 25-point bonus question. This is the big one for 25 points, and couple number four, Dave and Eileen, you've got 40 points. You're leading right now. 
But the big question is in front of us, and it's still anybody's game. So here it comes. For 25 points, gentlemen, which do you like more, hamburgers or hot dogs? First, to couple number one. Bob and Nancy, you have 15 points. Your last place, 25, would give you 40 and put you into a tie for first place. Bob, hamburgers or hot dogs? This is easy, hamburgers. Hamburgers. Hamburgers is right for 25, and now you're in a tie for the lead. All right, couple number three, Ralph and Jane. You have 15 points. You're in last place right now. A correct answer will put you into a tie for first place. Which do you like best, it's Ralph? Hamburgers. Hamburgers. Your wife said you like hamburgers best. Is right for 25. That's the one you got right, honey. <laughs> okay, we've got a three-way tie for first place as of right now. We're going to move to couple number two, Bob and Carol. Now, you have 20 points. Bob, you can break this tie with the correct answer because that would give you a grand total of 45 points and put you in first place. I like hamburgers. <laughs> hamburgers. Hamburgers is right. Okay, and you got 25 points and you're out in front. Dave and Eileen, you're currently tied for second place or last place, however you want to put it. If you answer this question correctly, you're going to win a grand prize selected especially for you and Eileen. If you miss this question, you end up in a tie for second place. Which do you like best? Hamburgers. hamburgers. I love hamburgers. Hamburgers is right for 25. And Dave and Eileen Kessberg, you're our grand prize winners today. And now, Dave and Eileen, here's something special just for you. We know that your collection of records is pretty useless without something to play them on. Well, get ready to start enjoying them now, because the grand prize you've just won is... A beautiful, brand-new console stereo! Yes, Eileen and Dave, from Olympic, it's this magnificent new stereo center with dramatic Mediterranean cabinet styling and genuine pecan distressed finish. The massive front with deeply etched carvings is complemented with authentic Spanish metal grillwork. Inside, Olympic has contained a solid-state deluxe stereo phono with an eight-speaker sound system plus an AM and FM Stereoplex radio. It's certain to bring you years of enjoyment, and it's from the Olympic Radio and Television Corporation and the Newlywed Game. Dave and Eileen, that's a beautiful prize you just won. Congratulations to you for being our grand prize winners today. Thank you, couples, very much, all of you, for being with us today. And by the way, here's how you newlyweds at home can be on the Newlywed Game. If you've been married less than one year and either live in the Los Angeles area or plan to visit in the near future, then send a postcard to the Newlywed Game, Post Office Box 3070, Hollywood, California, zip code 90028. And it's very important that you include your address and your phone number on that postcard. That phone number is really important. Bob Eubank saying thank you and goodbye. <laughs> is a Chuck Barris Enterprise in association with the American Broadcasting Company.